Alright, alright, alright. It's time for another episode of the Florencio Files. Down here in the bottom left hand side in the red on his beast mode account. He's ready to go full beast. He's gonna go whole hog. It is Florencio. Drones right up to 14 supply. Starts an overlord there. So it's not a 12 pool. He's building a few drones first. Not the cheekiest of rushes yet. Up here in the top right, his Terran opponent. It's elementary, dear Watsons. It's Watsons, not Watson. We're going to call him Watson, though. I imagine this is indeed Sherlock's ho Sherlock Holmes uh, assistant slash fanboy, who uh, basically is just crushing on Sherlock the whole time. Let's be real. He's a uh, cumber bitch. For some reason, Bilbo Baggins seems to have a little bit of a boy crush on uh, on that cumber batch. Not, not, it's, it's, which is fine, but I just think he should realize that it's clearly un, unrequited, you know? People are saying, no, 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 it's, it's clearly, what, sons? So it's like saying sup son, but what son, but then sons? Nah, I'm pretty sure this is Watson guys in chat. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, that's two drones. Cool. What? Is this this double hatchery build? How... How did he, I, th th there's things Florencio does, and I'm like, ha, and I giggle. And then I see him do it again, and I'm like, the fact that this didn't just occur to you in the moment, but you said, that seems like a good idea, and I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at a loss, mate. I'm like, are we actually going to do the double hatchery proxy again? This is actually insane. Florencio's like, uh, yeah, I mean, it works. This build reminds me of Sex Panther, honestly. Sex Panther is a build order where I go and build a hatchery about here in Zerg vs Zerg. I build drones from it, I make a bunch of spines, I then uproot the spines and I run them into my opponent's base while just flooding Ling Bane across the map. It is objectively terrible, yet it somehow works because nothing that they see makes sense if they don't spot the hatchery and they start kind of overthinking things and they freak out and they end up losing. And I feel like it's the same in this scenario. However, actually in this case, Whoa, sorry guys, we just did a 10 second rewind. My bad, didn't mean to do that. Just smashing my hotkeys. The SCV comes in and is like, okay, well this is weird. Why is there a spine crawler in your base? Huh. Zergling speed starts. I don't. I think he's going to cancel that once the SCV leaves, right? Barrow starts up. Yeah, look, he's, he's ready. He's, he's like, okay, SCV's, SCV goes down. Link speed gets cancelled, starts the Rotron, starts the second gas. Florencio always with the mind games. Unfortunately for him, there's already a bunker down at the front. So what do we got though? One marine, one widow. Mar oh. Oh, these aren't units that beat roaches. <laughs> Especially not with Burrow, because a roach can tank a widow mine shot, Burrow, and just heal. No add-ons on either of these barracks. It's just unupgraded marines being built one at a time. I and mean, the bunker's good, but no tech lab. You need a tank or a cyclone or something, right? No starport, no second barracks. And as we see, he's overthinking it. He's like, I gotta build bunker. I, I need a widow mines. I, just, I gotta survive. I, I don't know what's happening. I need to look around my base. Uh, <laughs> Starport's not gonna help you. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't? This, this is Watson's vision. And he's like, well, I, I, I deduce the, the, the Zerg is, is doing something aggressive, but I can't figure out what I'm like. Jesus Christ, Watson. Can you have a bit of confidence, mate? Just have a bit of confidence. He's on one base. He's clearly doing some cheeky bullshit. Makes some good defense. He makes a lot of defense initially, but only then does he go into the tech lab in the reactor. It's a little bit late, you know? If he holds on and keeps the bunker alive, though, I think he's fine. And Florencio, he's not even using the roach warrant. He's building another spine crawler, and he's just gone back to droning. I think his overlord saw the bunker in the widow mine and Flo was like Flo just kind of went like <laughs> he like tilts his head back and he's like this guy's fucking scared of me <laughs> he's fucking scared <laughs> just starts droning he's like well you know what drones up quickly two hatcheries and two queens and they're going I didn't even need to build roaches I made burrow not even gonna fucking use it just gonna drone up <laughs> oh He's like, yeah, I'll, I'll, we'll take some gases. We got a spire on the way. No worries, we're playing a macro. Meanwhile, the longer the Terran sits here with no information, the more he's shitting the bed. He's like, oh. <laughs> he's trying to scan. He scans the main. He's like, what the fuck is this man? Scans the now. He's like, why haven't you expanded yet? This makes no sense. 
Oh, you know, sometimes, Watson, you need to be able to solve a crime, not by the clues you see, but by the clues that are lacking. It is sometimes not information itself, but the lack of that information which tells you much. Watson, on the other hand, though, is like, what the fuck's going on? He's panicking, he's shaking in his boots. This Marine is foraging for information, but he desperately needs to figure out what the hell's going on. That Marine is sent on an attack move path. I think it will scout. There's a Liberator that's going to go try and siege up the main. Now, what is the bet? This Liberator sieges on top of the Spore Crawler in range, even though he saw the Spore What's the bet? Quickly vote, vote yes or no in chat. Vest, yes or no. Let, I am, I'm pretty sure he comes in and sieges up on the spore crawler. I can absolutely see it. The Marine does come in, finds this base, and Watson pulls the Liberator home. Okay, I'm not sure. What, I think he's just, maybe he's F2'd. He's freaking out a bit. He's got a third command center. He's got no production. So the problem here is that Watson's bioproduction is not really blossoming at all. He's just making tanks, liberators, and a third command center. Now, this liberator is going to come up and try to siege this base, but there's two queens already there, and a spore crawler has gone down. The liberator so far uh, seems to have orders to fly around the map meaninglessly. Okay, okay, fair enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. On the spore! On the spore! Oh, he repositions what's in there. Showing some nice micro flow with some quick reactions. Not doing anything yet. And he does walk through the lib zone. But the spore's going to move up there. And that will deal with the lib. That lib needs to get the heck out of there. But Watson, ah, a bit too slow on that one. And that liberator just sitting there. Oh, just goes down before it gets out of range. So another scan goes down here for Watson, who's just scanning these bases. I don't know what this scan is. I needed to see if he had the watchtower. Why? Because... And the Terran now is trying to go into mech. He's building Hellions? Oh my, it's not a bio build, it's a mech build. But Flo's building Swarm Hosts. Oh. Swarm Hosts, very good versus Siege Tanks. I mean, the economy advantage is here for the Terran. The Terran is up six workers, has a third command center. <laughs> that burrow that was upgraded two minutes into the game is now getting its work. Locus coming in. One tank goes down. Another tank just barely survives. But these two lings are still just like, you can't land here, dickhead. <laughs> and the command center is just like, I, I can't land. We're sensing a slight instability in the ground and it'll hurt the foundation of the command center. It's like... Dude, you're literally a gigantic floating megaton structure and you can't land because there's a slight instability in the soil? What the fuck? Somebody needs to call up the Terran engineers and tell them to fix their shit. Are you designing this stuff for a war zone or not? What the hell are you doing? Hellions are doing a good job kiting. A few marines going down. I love that this one swarm host thinks it's a locust. He's like, I'll come with you babies. I won't leave you to fight on your own. I got you. All right, mama's here. Mama's here for moral support. Let's go. Oh, shit. My babies are all dead. Fuck. I'm going to fucking just tuck my head in the soil. Ah. She burrows there. These ones have already burrowed. Oh, no. Two roaches and a bunch of locusts come forward. Watson's here. Never escalated the production. Is now just unable to deal with this massive burrowed locust. Scans and goes, ha ha. Kills a swarm host. And lands the natural as well, but I think one Reddit point tank and three marines are going to have their work cut out for the more fresh babies being spawned faster than out of a, a, a something. Um, I'm like, where do a lot of babies come from? I don't know. Fucking, there's got to be a Catholic joke in there somewhere, right? <laughs> oh my lord. Um, I, I think you might be dead, <clears throat> Watson. Has got a lot of factories. He's trying to get blue flame. Hellions are great at killing locusts. I mean, Florencio's economy is still shit. Oh no, the Liberator takes out two Swarmos, three Swarmos. Oh, ooh, ooh, that Liberator actually does some great damage. But the Drilly Boys are getting shredded here. Oh, that's too many workers going down there. The Hellions, they all get killed as well. There's just nothing left. And these locusts, I mean, these are absolutely the sort of people that you do not want having kids. Like, this is literally the reason contraception exists. Like, no, every sperm is sacred. Oh, it's like, is it? Is it? Have you seen the way some people raise their children? Have you looked at the swarmos? They literally take their child and go, ah, oh, the boss says he'll give me a fucking Snickers if I throw my child into combat and let it die there. And you're like, what? But if you leave it on your back, it can be nourished and grow and become a, a happy locust that lives a long, fulfilling life. They're like, yeah, but the, 
the boss promised me a Snickers. And you're like, oh, oh, okay. And that's why condoms are a good thing. Okay? Yes. Uh, just saying. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not really sure on how the in and out works with the Swarmosts. I mean, they must be they must be thrusting into themselves, right? Because they seem to be self-impregnating. Well, I don't know if they need to self- they need to wear production while they're touching themselves. Uh, production, they need to wear protection to stop themselves from producing. They need to do something like that is the point I'm trying to get at here. Uh, these locusts still going ham. What did he just put? Is that 16 mutalisks? Oh, well, yes, it is. Okay. So as if Watson wasn't already having a hard enough time, Lorenzo's like, ah, uh, I'd, like I'd like to mine a little bit more salt here. We're going to burrow there. We're going to throw locusts into the base and we're slowly going to just... It's going to first drain his will to live then hopefully drag it out a bit longer until he gets angry and, and just mine that salt we extract it from deep within his will to be a good starcraft player the mute is now flying and say hello buddy are you having fun is this what you signed up for when you queued ladder today the terran's like no it's fucking not and you know it's not why do you do such bullshit who builds two hatcheries in the corner of the map drones them up and then just makes burrowed swarm hosts you're a fuck nugget Florencio's like, thank you. I love nugs. He's like, no, it's an insult. Florencio's like, eh, not really, mate. I feel like nugs are one of the most underrated foods. And, uh, wow, adding some spicy sauce. <laughs> uh, translation, please, in chat. My Spanish can best be described as non-existent. Que mari con eres, ha? Que paso? Calacrasquerosa! What a bitch you are, Florencio is actually translating in chat. What do you mean? Said Florencio in response. <laughs> uh, some people are saying, what a gay C word. You are gay. There's a derogatory term for homosexual thrown in there. No mames. <laughs> and I told you guys, he wanted to mine the salt. There's a reason the mute is held back. He just wanted... He wanted to hold on for a little bit. Florencio said, don't jerk it, apparently. I don't know what that means, but is that the gay one? Is that the one where he's like, oh, you're a homo? Memes equals suck from the breast. <laughs> he's dropping creep in his face. Oh my God, this is great. Twitch chat's just getting their mass translation on. Oh my God. Ascaroso means disgusting person. I think we need to update the shirt, guys. We need a Spanish version of the we need We need a collection of all the Korean, Chinese, Spanish, and like all the other languages that people have BM'd flow in. We need to grab all of those and get another. We need the international version of the t-shirt. <laughs> of course, I am wearing the, the Florencio shirt there. Covered in all of the BM he has received over the years, uh, as well as some of the memes. And what a lovely game. Um, honestly, I, I, I was like, dude, Terran maybe not building the best units, but actually he has a bunker, he has Widow Mines. And then I look over and I'm like, oh, Flo sees that response and he just drones out off the corner base. Like, how do you even read this situation, eh? Oh, Pues, says Beast, says uh, Florencio there. GG, well played. I, I feel like, yeah, it's just that thing. Once again, uh, you go, I'm feeling focused, I'm feeling fit, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. We've got this shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <sighs> And then you scout him building spines in his main. What's going on? You eventually find two hatcheries in the corner of the map. That brain that started so laser focused, you were looking for the tells. Is he doing Serral's opening or Dark's? Is he doing Rogue's build with the 1-1 roaches? Or is he going Mutaling Bane? These are the questions the Terran player is asking at the start of the game. And uh, then Florencio just waltzes into the room, takes their brain, puts it in his washing machine on the maximum spin setting, and it just gets fucking smacked into the sides of it. Five minutes in, the Terran just, it's like he just got picked up and shook by a giant. You know, like you're not meant to shake babies. Well, I imagine if a giant does it to an adult, it has the same effect of scouting anything when you're playing against Florencio. All it does is confuse you more and it makes your head hurt. GG, well played, Flo. Thank you there for mining that little bit of Spanish salt, the best kind of salt. Thank you very much. We appreciate the support. I hope you guys enjoy the video. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out some of the new Florencio designs down in the description below. Boop, boop. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye and good night.